This is a micro pipette and learning to use these micro pipettes accurately is important for the next couple labs and the first thing you want to make sure you do is make sure you're using the, the correct one. You can see I have uh, two here that measure different volumes. This one only goes from 100 to 1000 microliters and this one here goes from 20 to 200 microliters and this is the one we need because we're going to measure out 40 microliters right now. This little window on the side shows me what we're set to measure right now and so uh, right now it's set to 50 so I just need to Turn this to adjust it to 40. Make sure you always check that. All right, so the next thing I need to do is get a tip on it. So uh, you don't have to push really hard, just kind of tap a little bit and you'll get this uh, tip on there. And now the next thing to do is to get ready to pipette the liquid. Now a lot of people try and do this with the liquid still in the rack down there, but it's really important that you get it right up here where you can see exactly what you're doing. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. Uh, here's another important tip is that when you push down on this little plunger here, you can push it down gently to the point where it stops. And then if you force it down, you can push it down all the way. But you don't want to do that. To measure gently, you're always, to measure accurately, you're always going to just push down to that first stopping point and then let it up. Okay, so I'm ready to go here. So I'm going to push down gently. I'm going to put the tip in there and it's right where I can see it. So I'm going to draw that up and now I have my 40 microliters in there. Okay, now it needs to go into this really teeny little PCR tube that I've already labeled here. And so again, I'm gonna not try and do this in a rack. I wanna do this right up here where I can see it. I'm gonna put the tip all the way in and now I'm gonna gently push down to put that 40 microliters right where I want it down there. Now I still have my tip here on uh, my pipetter, but there's this other button on the side. This is the tip eject button. So I can just pop that into the used tip bin and I'm done.